Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Happy to see you again. This is Dr. Sako, your health coach. Uh, I am a medical officer. I also have a degree in gerontology at Montreal University. Muscular injection, how to do it. So it's very important to know how to do the in injection intramuscular because you can save life how to, if you know how to do it. For for that, I'm gonna teach you muscular. Because it's not only the nurses or the doctor who can do uh, this uh, injection. Everybody can do it. You just have to learn. For that, I'm gonna show you the the three steps. If you like to see more video about uh, this topic just click on the button under the video and the red button to subscribe so that you can have many videos on your directly in your mailbox so i'm going to start the the three steps for why i i do this topic this uh, teaching because you never know in life you can be in the restaurant somebody may have allergic reaction and he collapse and this this kind you can just save life to give a shot of um, uh, injection epipen or anything you can be also inside the plane you have diabetes inside the plane so hyperglycemia can happen so there is no doctor for instance you can save life or for the simple reason you may be far from the doctor or the doctor don't show up and somebody need his medication and if you learn already how to give an intramuscular injection, you can also save life. This is the reason why I, I think it's important to know how to do the intramuscular injection. So the first step is the preparation. So you have to be well prepared to have your, all your material near you. So I'm gonna show you the different material, what you need, to start to give your simple injection I am intramuscular or I am first of all you should have your your syringe your syringe the syringe is um, you can have 5 cc 3 cc or 10 cc you should have also the needles you should have also your needles prepare your needles you put on the clean the clean environment you should be first we should also start by washing your hand this is the first thing to do washing your hand prepare your material as you, you see so the syringe the needles put it on the clean environment you have also the um, the swab, the cotton swab, the cotton swab is here to 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 disinfect, and also you have compress. If you finish the injection, you just take out with the compress. Yeah. So I'm gonna start to prepare the material. I put my glove, my gloves. It should not be sterile. You just need clean glove. Put my glove to protect me and to protect the person. So the needle, the syringe is here. You can just open your syringe. This your syringe is like that. Just open your syringe like that. Open your syringe like that. This is 10 cc syringe. So you can and you, you put back inside. You should take your needle also. Open the same way. Let me show you how to open the needle like that. And you, you leave inside for sterility purpose. Yeah, and your medication is here. You just open it and you connect. The, the needle to your syringe like that 
and you withdraw the medication. You put on the table like that, and you now withdraw your medication. Depending to the quantity you need, just open some. So you should be careful. You don't touch here. You have to don't touch too much here. You have to the piston. Don't touch it. You have to do like that to withdraw the product. So one is done. Depending to the place, you can just remove this needle because you have to take a clean needle to go to do the injection. This needle will go to the biohazard. Bio you drop there. And we take another needle, another clean needle. By the way, the IM injection should be the caliber for the needle should be 21 to 25 goes, and the the, the longer should be 2.5 centimeter. It should be more longer to, so that you can reach the muscles. Yeah. So I'm gonna open the second needle. like that and you you connect you connect it. all right so now this is the preparation you finish the preparation your needle is here the product is inside now you have to go now to see the the client the person or the uh, any person who need injection for that if the person he can talk you just present yourself. Hi, I am Mr. This or I am Dr. This or I am not this. You stay your name. I'm going to give you an injection. So you present yourself and you tell me what to do. If the person is not responding, so you don't need to, pre do, to prepare. And you go to the size. You have to choose the size because the intramuscular injection, there is a different size. You can give to uh, at the bottom. You can give to the shoulder and you can also give to the thigh. And I'm going to show you the place you're supposed to give. I will draw here the buttock. This is the buttock, for instance. So if you select the size, the buttock is here. You have to divide it, decide, and Two, please. Like a cross, we divided the bot the bottom and one line left on right, and another line like that. It's like a cross. So the the right bottom is here. You have to put two cross here, and the injection should be here the place the side of the injection should be here here is a um, superior external side superior external side that's why i put the green line here never give here here you can cross the sciatic nerves so this is the right place to give the im injection so if you select your place you just grab your swab cotton swab clean remove it and you tell him that you, if the person can talk you tell him that you're gonna give the injection so you start to clean clean like that from the center you clean and you go around so this is the paper so then you go around like that the center then you go around you put aside and after you wait until you wait one to five seconds until it will be clean until you will dry and you take your your product you tell it you take your product you will put your hand to the skin to be tender like that and you tell the person that to take a big breath if you take a big breath that make the person to to be less stress and less pain because the oxygen if you have more oxygen on your body you reduce the pain and the stress so you tell him to take big breaths and you're gonna give the injection and you can't you tell him if it's ready you go one shot like that you go one shot like that and you ask him if, the, if it is okay it's comfortable and you adapt the rhythm of the injection to the pain of the patient 
more he have pain, you reduce the speed. When he have less pain, you go. So you give the injection until he finish slowly. If it is done, you tell him if it is okay. So one shot again, you remove it. When you remove it, you just put directly to the biohazard, not on the garbage. It will go to the yellow beans. And when you remove it, you take your compress and you put the compress on the side. And you do done with the small uh, compression. You should not do like that. You just do small compression. Yeah. And after you tell him if it is comfortable still. So that's the end of the injection intramuscular. The third step is you have to take off your material to put on the garbage. So because it's very important to take the needles and the biohazard material, the alcohol swab always go to the biohazard, the yellow bin. And the rest, you can put them to the garbage. The garbage is a, the black bin. So you go to the garbage. Yeah. And after you remove your glove, like that, and the glove as well, we go to the garbage. That you have already given the injection. You have to sign to document to sign so that they will know that you give the injection. Why? Because another person can come after you to give if you don't leave the note that you give. All right. This is the end of the this video. I hope you you learn something and you understand. Um, if you want more video like that, don't hesitate to click on the red button to subscribe under this video. Thank you, see you in the next video.